course I want more defense grid. Everyone wants more defense grid. Impeccable work. For the love of Fletcher, can I get some more defense grid over here? Stay away from my raspberries. Go to kickstarter.com slash project slash hidden path slash defense dash grid it dash two. Let's make more defense grid. Hello, and welcome to another update of Defense Grid 2's Kickstarter. I'm Jeff. I'm Mark. And we're here to talk to you about what's going on. Already we have over 4,200 backers, and we're less than 80K away from the minimum. So we're just you know on that glide path to the minimum, but we really want to ramp it up. We want to go all the way to Defense Grid 2. We know you can take us there. We've gotten this far. We're really excited. We want to keep the momentum up. Keep telling your friends. Tell your Twitter, uh, Twitter fans. Tell your social network fans. Um, bring them over. We're all going to make this game together. Yeah, I know. If you've looked at a lot of Kickstarters and a lot of people here on the Defense Grid uh, uh, Kickstarter, some of them, are, some of you are new to Kickstarter, and so you may not know this, but a lot of the Kickstarters start strong, get slow. We're in that kind of slow period, and then they start ramping up as you get close to the end. And now that we're two weeks away from the end, this is the time where we all get together and we start ramping it up, and we bring people in to make sure not only we cross the minimum, but we go farther and get more into the Kickstarter. So we've got a lot of good stuff to talk about today, and some contests coming up too. Yeah, um, and so. One thing to remind everyone, you know, I, we, we hear this a lot, we totally are listening to you. Um, games are expensive to make, and we're talking about making a Defense Grid 2, which is a very expensive game, and we were looking for a million dollars. And right now it looks, well, it looks really challenging to get a million dollars, but that's okay, because we're planning on making Defense Grid 2 eventually, and each amount we can raise here over the minimum is going to get us closer to that. We raised 250000 here. We're going to give you Defense Grid Containment, an expansion to the original game that bridges the story gap between the original game and the sequel. Right. And then we're going to start working on Defense Grid 2. And when we sell the expansion to other people, you guys, of course, get a free copy for being backers, that will make us additional money. And that money plus the money we already have is going to go towards Defense Grid 2. We'll be short a bit, but we'll work on other projects. We'll continue to do other things to make money. And eventually, we'll have enough money to make Defense Grid 2. We're not going to forget about you. You're going to get a copy of Defense Grid 2. You're our backers. You yeah. were here. You supported us, and we're not going to forget uh, everybody in this uh, in this Kickstarter. So, you are a Defense Grid Two backer. You're also going to get containment for sure if we cross the two hundred fifty thousand dollar mark. If we cross five hundred thousand, you get containment, and you get a remastered version of the original game with a uh, multiplayer. Mm -hmm. um, and these are steps that we're taking that get us closer to actually building Defense Grid Two. So, you are a part of it, no matter what. We are really ready to do the multiplayer. We, I know we got a lot of multiplayer fans. One of our top requested features, uh, get your friends in there. If you've ever wanted to play multiplayer with somebody in your family, one of your best friends, uh, you know, just sit around and have a good time. Tell them to get in the Kickstarter, and we'll get you both in Defense Grid 2. And for the pledges, we've introduced some new things, including the audio button, uh, ask Fletcher a question. Uh, Fletcher, uh, am I going to have an easy drive home tonight? I am certain. Well, there we oh. go. It, that's going to be easy. It's probably pretty late when he gets done editing the video. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's like a Magic 8 Ball. We 20 different responses. I think no. Oh. We have to fight another day, right? Right. Right. So you can have Fletcher encourage you in any task. So uh, keep him handy on your desk or at the office or at home. Um, you can ask Fletcher anything. He'll, That's right. he'll help you out. And he'll be there for you um, at any pledge over the $110 level or higher. Um, same thing uh, if you're able to pick those pledge tiers. Same thing uh, in that same pledge is the special USB gun uh, USB stick. And as you see, you pull it off and you can use it. It's 8 gig uh, USB stick. And it's also a level 3 gun tower ready to shoot at flying aliens, which is always kind of fun. Always handy. Yeah, you got to keep that to protect your desk. Yeah. Um, this week, we have two big events. Really? Do you want to tell us about them? No, you can tell me oh, about okay. it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> he said, really? I thought he'd know. Anyway, um, Thursday night, uh, probably this will come out Wednesday. So Thursday night, tomorrow night, 8 PM Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, there's going to be a spree cast with all five of the founders of Hidden Path. We're going to be on a video chat system at spreecast.com slash events slash defense grid two. 
and you'll be able to jump in, ask questions live, we'll answer those questions. You can be on video chat yourself and you'll show up and everyone will see you ask the question, or you can just be chatting, typing, and asking a question and we'll answer those. Um, if you've never been to Spreecast before, it's pretty interesting technology. It's kind of a live multi-channel uh, video chat, so you might see two or three people or even four people on the screen um, all sitting at their desk on the webcam talking and answering questions and it'll switch between people. Um, it's pretty fun and we're going to start that off at 8 p.m. Eastern. 5 p.m. Pacific. We're looking forward to that. Um, the other event, so we're gonna founders are gonna be doing that. Um, the designers and programmers said, we want to we want to do something too. We want to we want to get in on this. Um, so they said we're gonna try something crazy. We're gonna do a 24 hour marathon play of Defense Grid on Twitch um, TV. On, on Twitch TV. And this was totally their idea. And we're like, are you sh are you sure? sure? <laughs> And they said, yeah, yeah, we want to do this. We want to connect with the community. We're going to play Defense Grid. We're going to talk about how we play it. We're going to talk about what it was like to work on it. Um, you're going to have artists. You're going to have designers. You're going to have testers. You're going to have programmers. Uh, pretty much all the people who are working on the game and many people who've come to be part of the, the company since then who've worked on expansions or worked on, on our latest project, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, they're all going to be there taking turns from on Friday uh, from noon Eastern on Friday all the way to noon Eastern on Saturday, 24 hours. And we thought, oh, you're going to do this a couple of hours, and then they're, no, we got fans worldwide. Everybody gets a shot. It's going to be going 24 hours. No matter where you are in the world, you can tune in. Uh, and, yeah. and check out people playing Defense Grid. So it'll be on Twitch TV, and we'll have the exact link soon. We'll send a text update to everyone on Kickstarter when we know what that link will be. Um, but on Thursday night, you get the founders um, answering your questions directly. And on Friday, for 24 hours, you get the employees of Hidden Path playing Defense Grid on Twitch TV, talking amongst themselves, answering your questions, and letting you be a part of it. You guys are part of our team now, and we want to do these kinds of things that allow you to have the access to us that maybe isn't always available when you're dealing with teams who make video games. And if you have some ideas for things um, that you'd like them to talk about while they play, make it challenging. Put uh, put some comments uh, on the Kickstarter page, and we'll make sure they... Uh... Can you beat Selmuko's <laughs> score on uh, fully loaded? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, the answer is no. But uh, I think they'll have a lot of fun. I think you'll have fun playing along. Uh, get your game out, play along, send some questions in, uh, and have fun watching that. So two big events, the partners on Spreecast, Thursday night, uh, 8 p.m. and 5 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and then uh, the, uh, the staff of Hidden Path playing Defense Grid on Twitch TV from 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern on Friday, all the way 24 hours until 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern on Saturday. It'll be a party. It will. And last week we had some contests. Really? Yes. And we had winners, and those winners won something special this week. This is the Razer Taipan mouse. Um, I think they've showed how beautiful it is. I mean, this would look great on your desk. Yeah. If you're a lefty, there's a lot of lefty uh, players out there, left hand or right hand, ambidextrous mouse. So the button controls are totally reversible. And this one, I didn't know this at the time, two LEDs. Like, you can oh. look at the other one LED <laughs> mouse, people go. Far more accurate. Double precision. When that one hair gets in under the LED, you not got, gonna affect this not mouse. Not gonna affect it. That's two, pretty two cool. Two LEDs, double precision. Um, it, it is the premier gaming mouse. Um, so you can try that out. Awesome, and this week we had four winners um, on Fully Loaded on Ancient Research. Um, all the people, we wiped those leaderboards clean. These existed before. And then we did a random drawing from all the people who were on the leaderboards and had registered on the DG, DG2 contest button. And Voltaron was the winner of a Razer Taipan mouse. Excellent. On Super Grinder on Turnabout. Super Ailman. Super uh, Ailman. That's a cool name. Yeah, yeah, great name. And he was the, the or she, was the one drawn on Super Grinder on Turnabout. On Lockdown in the Out of Bullets mode, we had... Rene Drivers. Rene Drivers. I don't know if that's French, you know, Rene Drivers. Oh, it or, could be. Uh, or something else, but that was really Rene well Drivers. Done. Yeah, yeah. I can't speak French. We, okay. we, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then this week we added a brand new mode for everyone to play and of course it had a brand new leaderboard and so these are the first people ever on the leaderboard it was adrenaline mode on forge in borderlands and our winner fjord and and that's just that's 
that was spelled in a cool way too, because it's that's how you spell that's fjord. That's how you spell fjord. Yeah. So. so anyway, all four of those, Voltaran Super Ailman, Rene Drivers, and Fjord, all winning the two LED Super DPI Razer Taipan Mouse. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks to everybody who participated in playing. Uh, there's more contests coming up, so uh, keep enjoying the games, keep enjoying the mini games. Uh, we certainly have fun uh, finding out who the contest winners are and communicating that to you, sending out some prizes when it's time to do that. Yeah, it's really fun. The the mice will be able to go out soon. The video cards, um, when we do the video cards from last week's and for next week, next week is a video card contest week again. Uh, we'll send all those out at the same time we get those cards from AMD when we give them out to the pledge backers as well. So for people who aren't doing contests but still want the mice, they are available at a pledge level, right? A different mouse from Razer, the oh, Naga ones. Hex mouse. That's the red one, right? And the green one. Oh. You have a choice <laughs> a on the choice. two levels of pledges. Yeah, and those are those are pretty popular right now. Um, and not only if you do pledge for a video card pl a pledge level or a mouse pledge level, you get the video card or the mouse, you get the Fletcher audio button, you get the USB stick, you get the t-shirts, you get the uh, uh, the the posters. Mm -hmm. That's it, the posters as well. I knew there was more. And there's always there's always a little bit. And then of course all the digital content that we, we make um, from the Kickstarter and of course DG2 when it's made. Which is why we're all here. So there are five new contests this week. Um, we've got a couple of really interesting things. You want to talk about those? I, I think something that we didn't know even as founders, there's some Easter eggs hidden in the existing maps. What? Yeah. They got put in there. You know, there's... Uh, those crazy artists. There's, a, there's some little things to look for. So you have to use the camera cheat and look around the levels. But on one of the levels, there's a hidden snowman. A snowman? Some, somewhere a snowman is on, the, on, those, on those maps. So okay. You look around with a camera cheat, use your best hidden object skills, maybe recruit a friend who plays hidden object games, you know, look for that snowman. Yep. Uh, look around, so that's one map. Uh, another map has a hidden locomotive engine. Okay, so a snowman and a locomotive engine. Let's say I find those and figure out which levels they're on, what do I do then? So there's a place, you probably have to describe exactly where you <laughs> go enter it. <laughs> the DG2 contest button. Okay. And then you go into the DG2 contest button, and there will be a thing of name the level where the snowman is. Name the level where the locomotive is, and you'll put in the answer. The leaderboard is only going to store one answer. So whatever your last answer is that you type when the contest closes next week, that'll be the answer that we take. And we will do a drawing of all the people who have the right answer. And the internet's full of tricksters, so somebody will probably, on the first hour, say, oh, oh, it's here. Just yeah. to get everybody don't, don't, to go to the listen, wrong place. Don't, don't listen, listen to that. Yeah. Look for it yourself. Uh, let us know. I'm going to be looking for them too because I really didn't know they were there. <laughs> and and what we'll do, of course, is draw from those and all of the people who uh, are in will get drawn from. And the winner of the drawing will get an AMD Radeon HD 6770 video card. Excellent. Yes. And there's three um, three levels. Right. There's there's three additional contest levels. There's the two Easter eggs, so there'll be two video card winners. Right. One for the snowman, one for the locomotive, and then this week we'll have focal point. Its ten tower limit uh, leaderboard will be wiped clean, and uh, all you have to do is complete the level, be on the leaderboard, be entered into the DG2 contest with your email, and then we'll be able to contact you if you won. And anyone who's on that leaderboard is finish the level will be drawn from and we'll have a video card winner for that as well. And we've had, uh, I think you said, just about a thousand people playing. Somewhere so between a thousand and really 2,000. Really good chance to yeah. win, uh, win one of these prizes. Right. Also, Onslaught out of bullets will be a wiped leaderboard. Again, you can join. And then this week we have a new mode for Forge, which is Super Grinder. So there hasn't been a Great. Super Grinder before. You can play it. It's a brand new leaderboard. You can be the top one on it. Um, but even if you're not the top one on it, you have a great chance of being drawn for a Radeon HD 6770 video card. So you just have to play and finish the level. You don't have to be the high score. It's going to be from the list of people that, uh, that finish the level. Excellent. And one of the things we want to do now is, um, you know, what we do each week now. This is starting to be like a show. It's kind of crazy. Um, we're going to go to Dave McCoy. He's going to tell us some about the new cool concept art that the artists have been working on. Great. Go, Dave. Hey, guys. It's Dave. As you can see, when we start a new game, we start with sketches to establish what the, the new look is going to be for the various elements in the game. Here are some ideas we had for Defense Grid 2 enemies. Once we have the sketches established, we start to move to tonal studies to get a sense of the light and dark and bring out the form of the, of the shapes. 
We may do silhouette studies in order to compare the relative masses of different kinds of models. When we're happy with those, we move on to color and other details. And finally, when the color and patterns are locked down, we go to a full 3D model in order to get a visualization sense of what the asset will look like in the game. These are some things that we're proposing for Defense Grid 2. We hope you like it, and thanks very much for your support. We look forward to making Defense Grid 2 an awesome game for you. And thank you, Dave. Um, I think that stuff looks really cool. I'm excited new aliens. It's uh, fun to see more things coming out uh, yes. every week. Yeah, I mean, we had the, the spaceship stuff a few weeks ago, or last week they showed us the new shirts. Um, I, it's really fun to always see what the artists do. When I like seeing the speed concepting. I like yeah. the flow of ideas that there are, you know, so many things get generated in just an hour and a half. It's uh, pretty cool. It's, it's, it's really, really exciting. So with that, we want to thank you again. This is the time where we need to ramp up, go out to all of us. We're going to work on the press. We're going to work with you know the spree cast on Thursday night, the marathon on Friday. We're going to try and raise awareness of the Defense Grid 2 Kickstarter. We ask for you to do the same. We appreciate you pledging what you can already. We, we want you to just go out and see if you can find other people who already love Defense Grid, maybe no, don't know about this Kickstarter because it hasn't been as publicized as much as we'd like, but we need to work on that and we will. And if your help, if you help as well, we're going to be able to reach that audience. We're going to cross the minimum and we're going to go on past that. And we're reading all your comments uh, that, that you're posting on the Kickstarter page. You'll also have the opportunity to get on uh, when we're on video chat, kind of ask us anything yep. and, uh, and let us talk about it. We're so thanks for backing us. We're, we're really pleased to be part of this. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining the team.